All right, uh, welcome everyone. I am streaming tonight kind of on a, uh, a whim. Wasn't originally planning to, but uh, with the daylight savings and, uh, you know, baby surprisingly sleeping early tonight, I figured uh, it might be as good a chance as any. Uh, also, I know Eternal Weekend is coming up for, uh, you know, many individuals so i'd like to at least get some content out uh, for those who you're playing i unfortunately won't be able to play i think i mentioned it a few times already but i'm pretty happy with where the list is at the moment um my list is slightly different than some of the other ones uh floating around um namely i've kind of like linear linear linearized the deck in the sense that i think I want everything to just be um, mana, payoff, or severe disruption, right? So what I mean by that is like, what I count as severe disruption is something like an endurance against like a Delver deck, right? Like they have a hard time beating even one, let alone two copies uh, that, that stick on the board. Um, uh, Elvish Reclaimer is like difficult, for instance, for uh, some of these graveyard decks to beat, and then Fiend Artisan is just like Green Sun Zenith 5 through 8, right, in this deck. Um, what I realized in the last week or so is the failure rate of this deck. I was finding I was only really losing games because I would have to mulligan opening sevens because I didn't have a quality one drop. Uh, what I mean by that is like. I don't consider Alasaur Shepherd a quality one drop in terms of like your turn one play. That's like a very weak play and a sign of weakness in my opinion. Granted, there are like some corner cases around that, but for the most part, I think you either want turn one Dork or turn one Reclaimer. Like, and whether that be High Arcs or Zenith, I just realized like I want not to hit the failure rate of of uh, missing on a good turn one play, so to speak. Right, so. I think 16 is what I'm comfortable with, and before, like, the one drop count, including Green Sun, would be, like, 16, including Shepard, and, like, one to two copies of Shepard, or, like, one Shepard and one Korean Ranger. I just don't think Korean Ranger, and I don't think uh, Alistair Shepard are ideal turn one starts, and I think you're better off just mulliganing instead of passing the turn. Uh, the other thing that I liked recently is, in, in the spirit of reducing the failure rate, is... I really like what Chrome Mox and Gemstone Caverns did to the deck in terms of, uh, and I wrote an article about this that I'll make public probably next week or so, but I discussed some of the options for fast mana, and I think given that we're a deck that hits land drops consistently, we have pitch cards available, namely the natural targets or just like random dorks we don't need uh, later on, and the fact that we want to spend all of our mana every turn. So in a lot of ways, we are similar to Moon Stompy or some of these prison decks. Uh, so I think it makes sense for us to play Mox slash Gemstone Caverns. Now, each of these have different uh, strengths and weaknesses. And uh, those are detailed in my article. They're, they're pretty straightforward, right? Mox, you have the Pitcher card. Um, not great with Collector Oof. Uh, things like that. Gemstone Caverns, obviously, you have to be on the draw to get the, the benefit um but it has the upside of being a land that you can pitch to reclaim it like fairly straightforward things in my opinion but i've found the one one split to be pretty nice because you mostly have the upside of both while mitigating the downside because you're guaranteed because you only think one of each to never draw the second copy like no matter how long the game goes right i most of the time you're not going to draw two copies regardless because there's only two copies in the deck but as the game goes on, it's a little bit awkward to draw the second Mox, like, naturally, or the second Caverns, naturally. You can work around it. It's just something I don't think we need to work around by just splitting here, right? Um, I think the stronger card, personally, in a vacuum, is Chrome Mox, but it has bigger downside. I think Gemstone Caverns is a little bit safer. I, I detail this in the article. Um, there are some people who play Elvish Spirit God, which I think has its own benefits. Um, but I, I kind of see that card as... A little bit different i i think a bit more of a a trick than a uh, than a land like uh the slots that i'm replacing here are lands and i don't feel comfortable at least well let me rephrase that there are some hands that are capable if that's even if that's your only um turn one play like spirit guide something cradle for instance right i think that's that's fine 
I don't really like to compromise on my mana base. So to, to me, I think it's fine to play. I just I do think you you will mulligan a little bit more with um, Elvish Spirit Guide because it's not like I said, it's more of a trick than a true land in my opinion. Um, I think with that said, also I think endurance is like extremely important given where the deck is going. I kind of see it as the Green Force of Will, right? Like, no, it's not as flexible as Force of Will, but it's a better fair card than Force of Will because uh, it's just obscene against Delver, for instance. Um, it's good against Earl, good against a lot of these random decks. Not to mention Evoke Endurance plus Cradle. There's so many permutations now for turn two natural that's been just been coming up like left and right, like between Chrome Mox mana, Gemstone mana, and then Evoke Endurance mana, right? Like off the Cradle, like. There's a lot of permutations now. I won a game the other day against uh, uh, somebody I lose to a lot, which is like Tony Scapone, because I was just able to just natural natural order on turn two for collector Hoof and then just like lock out the game, right? Uh, via endurance evoke um, with cradle mana. Um, so it just the deck is just ex I'm making it as linear as possible, and I think th that's fine because I think the deck is actually difficult to hate out. Sometimes linear decks are easy more easily hated out. I don't think that's necessarily the case with us, but essentially all the cards kind of do the same thing. I don't need to mess around with multiple copies of Bowmasters. I think that's the philosophy. Um, I mentioned it on my Discord channel that is specific to Patreon that the two weakest cards are, the weakest card in the deck is probably this Allosaurus Shepherd. It, but, so if you want to play a second Bowmasters, I think that's fine. I ideally would find a replacement for this, but I think right now it probably gives the most bang for the buck because you can just like protect your natural order randomly, uh, especially with the mana dorks being your turn one play now. Like your green suns are more live as just demonic tutors, right? Instead of having to be a turn one dork. Um, so that's kind of the background behind that. The only change in the sideboard really is this Legion's End. Uh, I, I see a lot of people give me grief about the card because it's sorcery speed. I think if you want to play anoint with affliction i think that's perfectly fine i do think a good or experienced merit lage player will main phase this being stage against you like obviously i'm oversimplifying a little bit but i just think it makes little sense to me to open from their perspective to open yourself up to wasteland but seiju assassin trophy opposition agents all kinds of random things by waiting until our end step so that, that's the long spiel on, on that and i think the idea is you just draw into so to speak this legions and off a of track so that's the game plan for merit lage uh assuming you don't like have the needle which is already obscene against them all right let's go ahead and just get started if somebody wants me to try a certain thing or they think it's better speak now before this actually gets started if you think something is better than the shepherd or that is not the second bow masters uh a card that i had in mind maybe is just to play the fourth once upon a time just like Full power level, full just all at 4x, right? All over the place. Um, make the deck super linear and just put the onus on your opponent to stop you. Like, this is built more like a combo deck now. Hey, Renta, Venta, Rentus Vampiris, how's it going? Uh, not really ideal here. Um, I feel like I don't really want to mull, so I'm just gonna keep. Let's see how it goes. This is this this is like really awkward being black mana here when we want to fetch ba basics. Uh, game one. Maybe we just hit a ignoble. Maybe it's fine. Speaking of the devil. Again, uh, some of these pillars going forward. I, I want to play four endurance main. I, you're, I just want to be pre-boarded, essentially, against these combo decks. Interesting that they didn't do anything here. Hmm. So the question is, Windswept Heath. 
I wonder if that's a sword. I, actually, if it's a blue, they're Yorion. Maybe it's de death and taxes but without a turn one play. Like that's what I think. Uh, I think we're just go ahead and play the reclaimer. Well, then we're just gonna leave endurance mana up. And pass. It actually leaves open Bowmasters too, so that's good. I feel I, I think given that it's Windswept Heave and Yorion, it's probably D and T splashing. Uh, Bowmasters is pretty bad in this matchup. I think they realized, oh shoot, they left themselves open to um, opposition agent, which is something I thought about too. Um, I think we'll float. I think given that we can't cast the Bowmasters after this, we might as well just cast this in. And just hit the Bowmasters right now before they like flicker or something. So I, they do have some flicker shenanigans that we see, right? No, I'm not using glimpses. I don't. I don't think glimpses is playable. Um, do I attack? Probably not, because we care more about like our stuff than theirs. I just think Glimpse, while it can be okay, it's just a lot more work that's needed than just playing this version, right? What are they gonna get here? I need to read what this card does. I actually don't know. I don't think I can just leave three mana up every turn, so I'm just gonna do that. And just, and just in case they have remand me, I don't know this, right? Like, I don't know what I'm playing against. I don't think I care about 2 2. Yeah, I'm, I'm more afraid of that, to be honest, than anything else. Um, four. We're one short. We are one short. Hmm. Four, five, six, seven. We can get our tracks in next turn, but that's like weak to anything. Oops. I think I'm gonna hold for now. I don't think plusing. Well, plusing could matter. Um. Uh, it's a merit Lady answer. I'm assuming my opponents will play correctly in main phase, uh, the Thespian stage. Now, that doesn't always happen, but, uh, my answer to that is hopefully against those players, I can just, like, outplay them then. Is Gorse gonna be good enough here? Let's just get it and see, I guess. Uh, I'll just pass. Uh, 
Uh, it's yeah. So you can either play Legion's End or you can play um, Anoint with Affliction. Okay, that's annoying. I guess if it was a Fiendard, then they would have hit it anyways. Now, I, the only thing is I kind of regret now not um, not holding on to the Green Sun just for uh, a, a Green Sun Zenith, right? Yeah, I, I think that's wrong, but like, you know, then just outplay him, I guess. Or just play Anoint with Affliction if, they, if that's their tendency, right? I, 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 my personal opinion is that that's the wrong play, but that's neither here nor there, I guess. Because you lose to so many things like Wasteland, Opposition Agent, uh, Assassin's Trophy, Baseju. I, I, it, to me, it... uh, this deck is a tap out deck, anyways. Um, Harry, that's a good question. I, I forgot to mention that. The reason why I don't think sorcery matters is because our deck is looking to tap out every turn. And if you're playing against an, a, a cradle player that didn't tap out, they have something up their sleeve, like more or less. It's, it's kind of telegraphed. Sure. I don't think we care. Natural order? Nope. Yeah, so I might have cost myself earlier by, um, what is it called? Not holding the green sun. I think that's probably the mistake. That's cute, I guess. Hopefully, uh, my deck can bail me out for that misplay now. I think we might have just made a game losing mistake earlier. I should have known better. Like, I was just playing against Wasteland, but their 80 card deck is like kind of inconsistent, so I should probably just not play around it. Granted, to be fair, if they aberration one of our creatures, we're probably one short of a creature anyways. But, you know, we don't get punished here as long as we just top deck move the natural order, right? Hopefully that's the case. Uh, just flooding out pretty badly here. So they can bounce the side wise. Um, I don't think I want to just tap out for no reason. They're probably going to do that. Yeah. Alright, we're, we're gonna have to atone for uh, our misplays. Uh, okay, now they have the wasteland. Also, to be fair, we like flooded out kind of hard. Like, and we drew the kind of the bad cards of this matchup, right? Bowmasters, Endurance.
This is kind of gross. Oh, it's the hand. I don't know why I thought it was the blade. Yeah, it's, I explained it earlier, and it actually came up here, right? It's in case I draw both copies, I, do, I don't want to draw multiples of each, where they would be double dead, right? And it actually came up here. I think I win this game. If I didn't screw up earlier, but that's okay. Live and learn, right? Uh... I think given that we are so close to the Cradle Man already, that's that's probably the reason to to hold. Not to Cradle Man, sorry, to the the Attraction Mana. And now we're just getting out grinded here by DNT. The bad part is like at any point here, had we just drawn a natural order, it would have covered for our mistake, but it didn't happen. The crazy thing is we still have lethal. We just need to draw the natural order. Like from this board, natural order is lethal. And we just can't draw it like I should have, well, maybe not. I was gonna say, maybe I should have attacked. The problem is, attacking allows them to attack. And I don't think I want that. Although they have a wasteland already, for what it's worth. Recruiter? What do they do? Oh. Natural order. Thank goodness. All right. Um, I guess. We got a, a fade solitude here. Did we get bailed out by our deck? Okay, we stole this game. Like, I, I deserve to lose because I missed, me messed up, but the, the big eraser, as I like to call it, like, has bailed me out and others so many times where you just screw up the game you're supposed to win, but then it doesn't matter because this card reads uh, one card combo, right? Like, in a lot of cases, I would have caught Atraxa. I just felt like I was far too behind already uh, to try to go Atraxa into the second natural order. Uh, I felt like... The more turns I gave my opponent, especially with Yorion coming down, I had to go for the win there. It, like, most circumstances I would go Atraxa, but 
I just think with Yorian coming down next turn, I think we probably lose. So, one of the rare cases where I think I forgot the uh, the attraction and just like went for the kill, right? All right, we uh, we stole that game, in my opinion. Uh, here we're on the draw still. I think I like the cavern still in. I think against DNT they just have like mandate. Let's just get these endurances out of here. Uh, Bowmaster is bad too. Uh, I like needle, and I think this is not a cruel mox matchup. So this is what I like to do. Uh, needle for the vials and like I think they have stone for it. I don't even know. Um, maybe we even name Karakas if they have like the Samwise combo going. Uh, everything else I think is like pretty standard though. Our mapping is a little bit off given that we went up to eight dorks. Like I had to board out one extra card and not sure what is the worst card there. I think it is, um, it looks a little awkward. It does have snuff out, I like. Uh, two gris. Honestly, I don't like to mole, so I'm just gonna keep. Um, actually, a, there's a chance, there's, uh, I think Mouse Diamond is bad, in our, we don't have enough lands. Um, I don't know, maybe we just kill this now before it does anything meaningful, right? Mm. Oh, man, I, I, it's not even good. Like that's that's the problem, right? Do I want to just kill it now? I feel like there's no rush, right? Like, what am I scared of? This is the problem with Giver, right? It's just they don't, they can just ignore it, I guess. It wastes me here, I'll just kill it, but like... Sure. Uh, do I care? I feel like it can protect whatever I want to kill. Let's just get rid of this right now. Wow, missing land drops. It's kind of annoying for us, but we might as well just get rid of it. It could matter later on. So one downside of leading with the uh, the noble there is um, they swords right now. Now I can't cast Gris potentially. Maybe I'm supposed to just go noble. That's that's very counterintuitive, but maybe that's correct. Oh, well, I guess it didn't really matter. Right, because if they had a combo, they could just like... I think they're missing land drops. Wow, okay. That's okay with us. They're, they're gonna go Hellbent. We're gonna presumably cast Gris on four. Greedy keeper and opponent. Uh, do 
might attack here. It could be a containment freeze. I guess the question is, am I blocking if it's actually a containment freeze with double with both of these? I think maybe. I don't. I don't think the damage is worth it. Yeah, just double block if need be. It actually, it's probably bowmasters now that you know it. All right, we have full information. They should not, have, well, maybe, maybe it's fine. Lion Sash? This card has like no text against us. Why do they keep this in? Strange. Uh, doo -doo -doo. And I'm gonna 100% block. So our trade-off worked ugh, the way we wanted it to. Okay, I gotta read this. This usually doesn't matter against us. So they put it in... When they put it in as a creature, right? Like they have to reconfigure it to, to get into the other mode, I'm assuming. Is do I want the artisan here? Probably. Well, it's a little annoying. The sash is gonna like shrink it, maybe. I think we just want a ramp, to be honest. They want to sink extra man, I think they can. I don't, I don't think we care. Like, wasteland off the top or removal off the top. Like, our artisan gets a lot worse. I think we just ramp there. And then we're going to start ticking down soon. That is a hell of a card. We get punished by the batter stall there, but I don't think we're playing around there. Here right now. Uh, probably. This doesn't die, right? Like it just becomes. If I kill it right now, I, I don't even. I need a judge here. What happens if I kill the Stoneforge Mystic?
Yeah, that's what I thought. Uh, I think we're just gonna continue plusing. I don't think we care. Uh, we'll just pass, I guess. I think the mistake I made actually was actually declaring blocks. I should have just allowed it. I think I said I telegraphed it. Yeah, the correct play was the not block, allow them to pump, and then kill it when they pump. And then on my turn, tick down. Embarrassing for me that this lion sash like is mattering. That's kind of funny, I think. Wait, did the token just go away? Maybe it did. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. That's what I was like. What just happened right now? Uh, I don't think I'm just gonna continue to plus. I think. Yeah, that, that makes sense. I... To be fair, we had like a small play first, but yeah, that, that was a misplay on my opponent. I think they were like, scared we are going to attack or something, I don't know. I'm, I, yeah, I don't really know why they did that play. We're just going to continue to jump block. I think maybe that's a solitude. We're like not too far away from a track, so... Uh, two nobles gone already, unfortunately. Maybe that's uh, Solitude right now? Makes sense.
See, maybe they put Yori on his hand now. So now we're gonna have to kill the Solitude. Just because of Yorion. Again, we're we're this is kinda how D and T I granted they're playing a different version. Kinda how the match plays out. We're just like hoping to top that green so natural order at some point. And present lethal that way. So we know their hand. Uh they want they can I guess you know, kill our bowmasters or whatever. I mean we can bowmasters us. Uh I guess we chump. We're gonna Yori on here, which is fine. Probably kill our Noble or something. Interesting. They didn't go for it? I guess we used up our Arbors already. Oh my god, what is going on? Well, we have full information, so... We tick down, this kills us. I think we actually tick up still. Otherwise, the the thing kills our our, our thing. We blo again, uh, kind of flooded pretty hard. It's really funny that they're trying to protect the sash. I think it's not actually not that great. Although we're low on clock, so I better be watch out. We've drawn blanks though, which is the problem. Like I, I, it's like really weird how this game turned out because I, I think Sash is not supposed to be good. We've been like one off from the track of this whole game too. Sure. They should have hit the token first, that was a mistake in my opinion. Uh, it doesn't matter I guess. It's very strange how this game. I like. I think they're prioritizing the wrong thing, but we we weren't able to punish it because our our hands have been awful. Too little, too late. I think.
Because we have to kill the Wisp and then the other thing blocks. I think we probably just lose, to be honest. Uh, yeah, well, let's play for game three. We have seven minutes left. Very strange game. Um, do we change our game plan based on what we just saw? I don't think so. I think we just do our thing. Uh, I think we got, oops. Let's, I think actually the gemstone is fine. I think we got a little bit unlucky for what it's worth. Um, to not be able to punish their hand there. Keep and I think we put this back. Uh, I think we want to snuff out on. Actually, I think if I were to do it again, I'd probably, um, put the uh, collector, put the snuff out back and then, uh, go along with my day there. I think we kind of have to do this here and walk into a bowmasters. I, I don't think there's a better line. Just pass through their turn, maybe. What are the hands that they? Oh my god, that they're keeping. Huh. Okay. Interesting. Maybe. I, 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 it doesn't make any sense to me otherwise. I just wrapped it there, essentially. Probably a Bowmasters is coming here. Oh, okay, that's nice. I think I kill that. I need the mana. Gris. Reclaimer Cradle, I think. Green Sun. Legion's End. I don't think I care, right? Actually, probably not the Reclaimer.
Maybe there's a Skyclave on the Gris now. Stoneforge, okay. Or just F6. Lion Sash. All right, uh, we, we need to play faster. That was uh, unacceptable on our end. Uh, we got a little bit bailed out. Our opponent kept some sketch hands. But we, we got to do a better job. That's kind of unacceptable to happen right? on our end. Uh, all right, I will put the list again. I'm going to use the rest of them real quick. All right, I'm back. Um, it kind of makes reinforces this game, like the floods a little bit. I, I think I want another payoff in this deck, given that we have so much acceleration. Uh, I mentioned on my Patreon that this Shepherd or Slash Second Bowmaster ideally is some uh, strong green sun for two threat. I don't know what that threat is outside of Fiend Artisan. And I think the threes are a little bit crowded. Uh, I'd, I'd rather not do that, go to three, but maybe that's what it takes. Blue, come on, go over there.
Sometimes I miss having something strong that requires less mana. How about something like Questing Beast or Adventure? Uh, I don't want to play four drops. Like, honestly, they, they better win the game. And I think Natural Order is good enough. And we're not even playing four. Freak, freak Nightmare. Like, I, I don't think those cards is are what we want to do. Like, I think the our deck, we want to be as laser focus as possible i don't think you want to get distracted by some of these four drops that and then you accidentally lose the delver uh i think this is a mulligan you're already mulligan there's four lands plus a hoof better uh so our opponent freak nightmare says hi twitch chat i will let them know Uh, that's pretty funny. So they wanted to say hi to Switch Chat. No problem. Goblins. Uh, okay. I think this list has been pretty popular lately. Lately, it's uh, the Turbo Muxus uh, deck. I think game one, we're probably a dog because we have cards like this that don't matter. Um, I'm trying to think if it matters to keep the fetch. Probably just in case we need it for Arbor Math. Like uh, Cradle Map. Uh, we're a dog because, like I said, yeah, we have Endurance main deck, which is not the best. Uh, Shepherd, which is dead. Um, the best card in this matchup is Snuff Out, and uh, unfortunately, that's post board. We can't really stop it. We can't really interact with the main deck. So I think they're going to mux this right here. I, want, I beat them the last few times I played, but uh, it always went to game three because I would lose game one. We are getting Mux. That is correct. And yeah, without Snuff Out, this matchup is a uh, very difficult game one, I think. I... I think the last three or so game times I've played against them, I, I lost game one because I just can't stop what they're doing. <laughs> there you go. Oh, and then they have like randomly the hoser, right? Uh, we should be dead here. I can't imagine we're going to survive this attack here. Yeah, we are dead. Let's pack it in. So, again, right? They just kill us, deal us a million. Turn two kill. All right. Um, the good thing is we have a ton of sideboard haymakers. Like snowballs are insane in this matchup. Uh, the shepherd doesn't do anything. I kind of wish it was the second bowmaster that would help. Uh, Jumpstone doesn't do anything. I think we rather have cabal pit. Uh, endure legion's end is another removal spell. It's not a not a great one, but like it kills skirk, which is like one of the scarier cards. Um. Okay, I realize I need three endurances because I don't have a second bowmaster. Right. So because I'm playing the shepherd tonight, uh, and I don't know what's better, um, we have to keep it the third endurance, which is not ideal. Uh, just, it's good that Josh is here right now because he's the one that recommended keeping the endurances over the force. Uh, the way I play, I've had it play out in my matchups. This has been like kind of relevant. Like it's not great, but it does have text. Whereas Force is probably generally dead, uh, it, outside of just trying to cheese a, a Chrome Mox win. So I, I do think Josh deserves a lot of credit for that uh, that recommendation, that which has for me at least has been playing out pretty nicely. Uh, we don't have much text. I think we just like roll with it. Like Shepard doesn't have any text in this matchup. I think we just hope to draw snuff out. Um, this doesn't have snuff out, nor does it have. Um, like a fast natural order. I wonder if we're supposed to mulligan this kind of hand. Let's keep it and see how it goes. We may regret it. Uh, 
Um, the layer is kind of bad too. I think we, I think we fetch the body just at least threaten the snuff out. Or in case we top deck it, right? Yeah, it could be slow. I, it feels bad to kind of have the mulligan this kind of hand. Sticker goblin, maybe. It went off, at least. Uh-oh. That's not good. Jesus. Holy shoot. It's a lot of damage. Ugh, where's the endurance when you need it? I, actually, it doesn't even matter because um, they have Skirk to prevent the life gain. I think we're just dead on board, right? I don't, I don't see a way out here. Yeah, I, I, I'm trying to think. I don't think there's an out. Like, we have chump blocks, but I, I just don't see how we win from here, especially with the Skirk uh, negating the life gain. Uh, I think there's some debate to mulligan the hand we had. Um, the problem is like, what am I trying to mull into, right? Like, I think natural order is a little bit slow. Like, I don't. I think by the time we get to natural order, we have we, we would have needed to. Uh... I think we would have needed to. Uh... I didn't board in Caesar. I, I I actually don't think that's like great, but that's maybe I'm wrong. Hey there, how's it going? Like, I don't board in C's because I, I think, like, you lose their aggro hands if you do that. And not to mention it's not good on the draw. Okay, we're playing against lands. I mean, you could. The problem is, like, it doesn't really do anything on the draw. I guess you hope they don't have to turn one. I think we're playing, like... I guess an Ali type build, right? The drop into exploration. Maybe like even main deck swords, who knows? Possible, I don't know. I could, I could be wrong. I feel like C's is not where we want to be. But I, I could be wrong. This is like really awkward because we have both arbors in hand. I think we drew this one too, which is unfortunate. Uh, the collector move is dead, so or there's no need for it right now. There's a fly in the room, unfortunately. Breeding pool. Uh, that tells me they're on like field of the dead at minimum. Um, what am I missing here? So the thing is, we have natural order. Um, they have Caracas. Now, we can try to, like, natural order into something. The problem is, like, it's still not lethal regardless. I think we just wait a turn. Hey Francisco, how's it going? Yeah, I think we just wait a turn. 
Uh, it's going good. We lost the previous game, but I think that's okay. Um, overall, good, good. Baby's uh, you know, healthy and, and and progressing, so that's all I can ask. Hope you're doing well. I saw you play at Nightwear. That's pretty crazy. I didn't realize it was uh, the 20 year anniversary of uh, of um, at Nightwear. So that's pretty pretty sick. Congratulations to Lori on that. So outside of like a crop here, I think we have it. I'm curious what our opponent kept. Like, this doesn't seem like an optimal hand. I guess we get the fiend here too, just in case. Like it could matter. Uh, doesn't seem like our opponent kept a good hand against us. Uh, pretty far, unfortunately. I used to be a little bit closer, but still pretty far. Uh, I used to live in like San Gabriel Valley. If you know where that's at, Francisco. Actually, what am I saying? Of course you know where that's at. But now I live over in like Orange County area and that's, it's like probably like an hour and a half drive, like depending on the traffic, right? So it's, it's not great. Uh, but yeah, I, I've been meaning to make it out there once things settle down here uh, at home. But uh, like shout out to her, uh, to Lori and uh, to Nightwear. Yeah, I, I think I've been there, man, maybe a dozen times or so, like for like, Legacy stuff. I play like vintage with proxies there before. The one thing uh, for those who don't know, uh, so this is a you know plug for Lori, but uh, Nightwear I think is like one of the best stores because she allows um, she loans decks. I think I think she still does, but I could be wrong. Uh, to anybody who wants to play Legacy and Vintage, Vintage obviously is proxy, but um, the Legacy events uh, she has a. Like at, at the time, I want to say like 10, 15 decks that are all like fully uh, built. And it obviously, if you have like some customization you want to make, she can do it for you as well. Uh, so she, like obviously it's on her system where um, she'll let somebody blow it for the day and then they can play the event, which is like pretty sick. No other store I know does that. So that that is like something very unique. And, and I've always had a, a, a good impression of Nightwear. Uh, not just because of that, but just one of the things that... Uh, that's cool about that, that that store. So a small plug for them. Uh, the unsolicited too, but for what's worth. All right, uh, back to this game, I guess. Uh, I'm on the draw, so I think I want to keep the keep the gemstone caverns. Um, yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about. So she has a lot of the the high end stuff too, and then um, I think we just bought out one fiend. Fiend is usually like late game for us, anyways. Uh, but yeah, so she has like high-end stuff like Tabernacle and whatnot and she lets borrow. That's like pretty sick. And obviously I know like Francisco here is like a, a lands-ish player. So, um, you know, that, that helps for the, some of the brews that I'm sure Francisco plays. Uh, I think we'll keep this. I think this matchup... Um, Oh, that's awesome. Let me know. If I'm uh, free, I'll try to come by. Uh, do I want to fetch first or not? I think this is already the third land, so probably. For sure, friends. It is uh, long overdue. I know uh, I've been kind of MIA in the magic community because uh, COVID and whatnot. But I think here, honestly, like... I think we just want to hit land drops. I, th I think we just play it safe. I, I don't want to have to run out the cradle if I don't need to. And I think we lose. Um, I, I will DM uh, my number later. I don't, I don't want the whole world knowing my number here. Not that I have a problem sharing, but just for sure. What's going on here? Why, did, why, why is it a crop? Probably Saga? No, okay, that's... 
that makes me feel better, to be honest, that I um, that I played it safe and took the fetch. And here, here's why. Um, in this matchup, you want to typically hold off playing the cradle until you you need it. Like, it's kind of hard to explain. Like, a lot of new players struggle with this matchup. Not not necessarily because this matchup is difficult. It used to be. <laughs> that's pretty. That's pretty awesome. Uh, yeah, Cr cradle is a hell of a card. Uh, man, who 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 who. Who wouldn't want to play Cradle, right? Uh, I think here... We want Reclaimer. And I think we just want to fetch again. Like, we're just gonna ramp. Like, th that's all we're gonna do. Obviously, Tabernacle is gonna matter. What what we're gonna do is we're gonna pitch the trigger on, stock, uh, on the stack and then uh, for another Cradle. Like, essentially, this is the, uh, the payoff later on. Like, we're... This game is going to go long already because of the tabernacle, but long story short, I want to um, be able to have a cradle on board to threaten. Okay, I don't, I don't think our opponent is... Uh, what are they? Volcanic? Man, that's pretty greedy, I think. Sure. All right. Uh, here's I messed this up last night actually because I'm supposed to kill this with the trigger on the stack. And then I like click through and I, I couldn't tap the mana anymore. It's just like really awkward what I did. Uh, we don't want to run the artisan out. Not so. I think we're just gonna bog our opponent right now. Uh, they may be forced into a wasteland here. That's why we have the second one. Reclaim. Like this game is, like I said, gonna go already really long. And reclaimer is essentially our path to victory. Like I don't think you can. It's well, it's not impossible, but it's very difficult to win this matchup without cradle. I just vomit their hand here. Yeah. Yeesh. Alright. Actually, I screwed that up. Like, I had the Force of Vigor in hand. I just, like, brain farted here. That, that's on me. Uh, like, I, this, that's what I boarded in for, and I didn't do it. So that that again, that's that's on me. Like I even said it, and I just like brain farted. Right? Um. So unfortunately, I have to block, which is the awkward part. I count ten zombies. So that is a little bit awkward for sure. I think I win this game actually if I hit that Matabon, but that's water on the bridge now. Luckily, I don't think they can pay for all of them, so maybe I don't need to. Yeah, that's... Man, I'm like kicking myself. I held the force too, and then... Unfortunately, um... Just like a sleep of the wheel, I guess, if you want to call it that. I guess... Yeah, but I, like I said, I think I win this game outright if I just like hit their mana bond. Like, their deck doesn't really work if you hit their mana bond or exploration.
Um, how much mana do I have? Three. Can I, I can take 12, I guess. And then one, two, three, four, five. I'll have enough mana for it tracks on the next turn. Did I pitch? No. Uh, I think I get the layer here in case it matters. Wow, okay, I just have lethal. Honestly, I did not do deserve to win here. I guess I say that a lot. Uh, I like misplayed and then our opponent tapped out and luckily we had, we just have lethal randomly now. It's the, the big eraser, right? Like I like to call it. Actually, let's tap three. How much do we have? Uh, more, more lucky than good, to be honest. Um, maybe we stabilize anyways, but I also think for what it's worth, our opponent didn't feel like they are the most experienced because usually this is like earlier, right? Um, I'm not sure. I forget what, how the sequence played out, but it doesn't feel like this was supposed to... We're supposed to win this game, especially given the misplay. So um, this is kind of an asterisk in my opinion. Yeah, it, it's the big bailout, right? You just like out of nowhere, you're supposed to lose, and then you, you just win. Um, I, for what it's worth, like outside of crop rotation, I think we probably stabilize with the tracks are there anyways. But obviously, we die to uh, like crop rotation for Caracas, right? Uh, Tony, all right. Uh, Tony usually plays decks that are difficult for us to beat. Um. So we'll see. Uh, I just played him, I want to say yesterday. That's what, I was talking about this earlier uh, in the stream where I like had turned to natural order for oof because of endurance. Uh, I'm just going to put Tony on some kind of combo deck that is soft to collector oof because that's typically what he's on. So let's mulligan. Mm, this is like pretty good, I think. Uh, I think we keep and just hope not to die, right? Like, nice. That's pretty pretty nice. What was your loss to one of your wins against Francisco? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is, this is the, the, the Collector Oof turn two. I don't... I, I think outside of maybe... Another Endurance here, maybe? I don't even think the, the math works, right? Like... Uh... What do we... I think given what we have here... We, we keep the Natural Order as a payoff in case they force... Ironically enough, the whatever might matter here. Yeah, the, the, it's just a big race in Legacy, uh, it, uh, which I know you don't like, Jeff. So we just got hope we're not dead here, right? I think they might be digging for fours. Who knows? I think I played Tony enough in this time slot to know. 
for him to know that I'm probably going to mulligan aggressively against him. Uh, maybe, yeah. That might be the line. Obviously, he still has outs. We draw a land here, we can just do everything, I think. Alright, um... We green sun for Zenith, that be three, and then we can pitch. I think I like the sound of that. Okay, so it was a protect, like, Alistair Shepard earning uh, her keep there, right? Like, that was allowed because uh, it was it forced the the, Shepherd, the thing through, right? M maybe we wouldn't get another turn otherwise. Um, I think here, I think we want seizes. I think we want the force. Uh, we saw Emery, but I suspect that Tony's going to board out Emery. And then, uh, what do we have left? All the other stuff is like kind of good. Needle, probably names Ring. Uh, I don't think this is a bog matchup. And then I think L Lair can probably come out. Oh, we want Teak too. Uh, what else are we boarding out here? I, this feels like a trap to me, but I could be wrong. Uh, the needles. Let me think about it. Uh, Fiend is a little bit slow. I can. I can actually, what kind of reclaimer? Does, probably doesn't do anything in this matchup. As as much as that pains me to say, right? Uh, I, I guess it depends on your definition of elves, right? You're talking about like a glimpse list. I haven't played Nettle Sentinel like outside of these scenarios where people ask me to test for them uh, in years. Um, like, because I just don't think it, I think it's a win more card personally. Uh, yes, that that for sure, um, Mark. The, the last time I played Glimpse of Nature was actually August of. Last year, I actually qualified for the um, the showcase qualifier on a glimpse build before I went to Artisan, and I and I what I found out was the Artisan build is just a, a lot more consistent because the fail rate is lower. Uh, the ceiling is slightly lower, but it's good enough if that makes sense. Like you don't draw up your deck like you can with the Glimpse Nature, but most of the time you don't need to. Unfortunately, there's a fly in here that is bothering me. Oops. Uh, I'm going to keep. I don't know about God Hand, but like, it's pretty good. Uh, okay. We don't need to do it yet. I think I want full information before I force their land. Obviously they ha can like spell peers or whatever this. Okay, so if I take force, maybe they just lose? They have a bobble that's coming. Um... Yeah, I th think I'm supposed to take force. For, well, 
Yeah, I, I think we go for the cheese line, right? We're going to take fours and hit their land. Um, is there a reason to, I think we pitch the noble and I'll tell you why. I think it's because in case we draw a god octave. Now suddenly it matters. Um, I think they got to follow that. The reason why we're leading with Artisan here is in case we draw a Cradle, then we can oof next turn. Um, the math, if we do it the other way with Noble, then... Okay, that's fine. So they have a Grim Monolith if they want it, and then they can Outcome... For one maybe or two maybe. Off by one. I think we just name ring here, right? That's is that the only thing we care about? <laughs> I guess they can outcome for two here, right? Which is not the end of the world. Uh, I think we just get the collector oof. Getting Teague shuts off our natural order is why I didn't, I don't like that. Not to mention like random things like that, right? Uh, they have Raven form or whatever that thing is called too. Uh, I think we take the cradle here. Like, I don't think anything else here, like, really matters. And, and then... What this does is, it makes it so that we have lethal. Uh, okay, that's pretty good to win uh, the combo matchup, right? Um, so far, to recap, we beat... I forgot what they were on here. Uh, we got lucky, I remember. Oh, uh, Death and Taxes with Sam. Uh, we lost to uh, Turbo Muxus, which... Maybe we board it incorrectly. I feel like it's not correct to board in Seas, but may maybe it is. I don't know. I I've been winning it lately, but granted... One of my opponents said they had no idea what my deck was doing, so maybe that factored in, right? Like, may, may, maybe they 
maybe we're supposed to write that off because they, they said they were conf they thought we were maverick and then they thought we were elves and then they were genuinely confused uh i think they were like 3-0 but we were like playing we were the 4-0 match at the time it was for the 5-0 and then I, I, they typed in the message that they were just confused what we were doing. They, they probably lost because they, they weren't familiar with our deck. So maybe we're supposed to board in seas, I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, Renatus Vampiris has the, the matchups there. Uh, this is not really 8-cast. It's, it's like a combo deck with paradoxical outcome. Uh, so we have one more. I think I'm pretty happy how the games have played out so far. I think... Um, I think yes and no at the same time. Okay, this is a mole. Like, I've been beating it, but also, for what it's worth, I didn't mention I lose game one typically because we all, all my cards are dead against them. Uh, game two... Why? Again. It's literally the same hand. I think we put the bog away and then hit, hit a real land. Um... I think game two, you have snuff out, but then you, you can easily lose. Luckily, they did not have the combo against me. Uh, and snuff out can only buy a turn or so, but the turn it buys is actually pretty big, though, for what it's worth. Our opponent is usually on, like, Delver or something. I don't know what they're on right now. Last time I think I played them, they were on, like, Reanimator. Given that we're on a mode of five already, uh, it doesn't look great for us. I think we play it safe and just uh, get the basic. Yeah, and we saw kind of the same hand, right? Between 7 and 6, unfortunately. Uh, my goal, actually, with this deck is to reduce the fail rate, and uh, that can only go so far, right? Like, unless you're willing to play Yorion, and our deck at the moment doesn't really benefit from Yorion, um, it's hard to... There's, like, no cut, if that makes sense. <laughs> I mean, it's part of the game, right? Like, if I'm being honest, we probably got luck in some of these games earlier tonight, too. So, you know, win some and lose some. I'm obviously biased, but I, I do think this is the best version of this deck we, we've probably ever played. Of course, that's not saying much, but... Uh... Um, I don't think so. I'm just going to pass, I think. Uh, the question here is, like, do we allow them to draw into force? I think, I think so. Just to, like hit their library more. Modify is definitely rough. Uh, and I'm not sure how to fix these some of these uh, draws where I draw Traxa or Crater Hoof outside of the, the Chrome Mox and Gemstone Caverns. Like, they have helped, but they don't fix everything, right? Ideally, we have a card that is not quite brainstorm, but close, where we can put cards from our hand back into the library or for value, right? Uh, days, okay, sure. If they have double days here, that's going to be a shame, but I think we can play through one. If they want to force us, I think we're okay with that too. Uh, 
Uh, I tried Saga. The problem is, like, the mana's already really tight, and colorless mana is pretty awful. I thought about Brainstorm. The problem is, like, our deck is already immune to uh, Bowmasters. I don't really think we want to open ourselves up to Bowmasters. Yeah, I don't know. If, I, I don't think I want to play Scrawlrack just for that, right? Uh, we can't, well, we can't because they Bowmaster's main phase, right? Like the, the mana, we, otherwise we lose the days. Yeah, I mean, like I said, we lose the days is the problem. I think we just pass here, right? Halt the aggression. Uh, the question here is like, do we play a land? I think we do. Because they're gonna waste us anyways. So I think we want, if we draw another land, I think we want to be able to play and then art. And if they don't answer the artisan, artisan for three again. Mortal 5 is rough though, like, and it, usually we can handle one more. Two is pretty rough. It, we saw the same cards, unfortunately. I would typically keep most sevens and sixes just because I don't. The, our deck doesn't really function well under mulligans, just by the fact of it's a, a critical mass deck. I think we're just F6ing here. Like I said, the, the line there was like, in case they somehow can't answer Artisan, they're going to waste us. We want to be able to uh, Artisan for three. In case we draw a land. Uh, that's not bad, too. I think we're actually not in the worst shape right now. They might... They probably force the days, sure. So we're at card parity, and our opponent hasn't really progressed the board state yet. I actually like our odds at the, at the moment. Now, things can change, obviously, in a hurry if they, like, mark Titus or something, but... It looks like that could be what's happening here. Yikes. All right. I think it is, yeah. It's a 6-6, six, six, so we have roughly two turns. Three, I guess, and count this. Uh, we'll just play. Um, Natural Order bails us out here. Uh, we're not going to play around the days. Uh, if we draw it, we slam it. Um, we just have to hope we have a Green Sun or a Natural Order here. And then our deck has been pretty good today in terms of like bailing us out. So we'll see, right? It, they owe us one for those mulligans. So we'll just pass. The other thing that is good here is like an endurance top deck, actually can hold a uh, Merc Tide at bay too. So we have a couple different outs. Um, this is a three that most likely will block. So I don't think we can afford to do that. Not especially since this plays around days now, right? Probably hit, I would imagine, either the layer, well, yeah, I guess it has to be the layer of the Hydra, but, sorry, layer of the Arbor, but I think Arbor makes more sense. It's a, uh, it helps the Cradle count. This is not really a layer uh, situation where, because you have chump blocks. Should hit the Arbor here. I don't know why they're holding it. They're forced here, that would be unfortunate. It's 
So we chop block here, uh, hope to fade a borrower. Uh, and we have to hope to fade a bolt too, to be honest, uh, quite frankly, because they're going to attack with uh, uh, Delver as well. So we're dead to a lot of things here. It didn't make any sense to be honest. Uh, our opponent not doing that earlier. Granted, there's a lot of people who don't understand our deck, so that maybe that's why too. They should attack with both here, and they do. We are forced into the chump block. Um, I think we block this way, so they don't get the extra damage, right? In case they have a bow master, they can just like ping us and pump the, the, the token. Sure. Ooh, that makes things harder. Are we one short? Jesus. Three, four, five, six, seven. I think we're one short. Uh, from. Like a, tr a stabilizing with a track, so three, yeah. So we have to answer the Merc tie. The problem is this flies through. I think we're just dead on board. Uh, we would have to have our opponent like screw up somehow. So we're just dead. All right. Uh, let's try not to draw this part of our deck. I, I still pr feel pretty good about this matchup for this even though we're down a game. Um, I think the only way we typically lose is we mode a five, which happened, or we somehow uh, don't hit land drops. Massacre girl. Okay, I, I gotta do uh gotta read this. I I'm like vaguely familiar with that card, I just don't remember what it does. I haven't played paper magic uh Mark, unfortunately in like I think I played once like for a day for like a weekly event since uh, the pandemic started. So unfortunately uh just my deck is just completely outdated. Like I updated again like after Eternal Weekend twenty twenty one because I figured well you know, the deck has treated me well to top eight Eternal Weekend then, and then, uh, I didn't play last year because it, it, it was in person. I, I can't play this year again, but I updated then, and this is now, like, vastly out of date again. Uh, keep. I think we once first, because we want to hit a second land drop. Uh, yes, that is, the seems to be the consensus. Um, we're not going to play Scared. I'm just going to get the Cradle. Just It's just too much ups upside. We're gonna fetch snuff out here and leave with the 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 ignoble. And vomit our hand next turn. Potentially. This is a little awkward. I have to do this, unfortunately, because I think getting days here is just too bad breaking. I, I don't, I would rather leave with dorks, but I, I just think it's just too bad breaking if, uh, if they daze us and we, if we can't double spell. Are right, they going to bow masters us here? I guess not. Uh, I think I snuff here. I think I can have either of these. I don't, like, it doesn't matter, right? Like, Pretty funny. 
Uh, I'm a little bit scared about, unfortunately, I don't want to say the card. There, there's a certain card that's like we're, we're pretty weak to at the moment. Ugh, it's gonna happen to us, I bet. It's unfortunate. We're dead to a certain card at the moment. Thank you, they don't have it. At least not yet. It's a, a nemesis of this deck a couple years ago, but we've been able to power through it. Unfortunately, this exact board state is weak to it. Mark Tide. So the question here is like, I guess I don't want to lose the life and in case they have force, like we lose a turn off three, yeah, we would lose a turn off the clock. So we go to 11, I think, yeah, I don't, I don't think we uh, chance it. Okay, we played it safe. I, I think it's correct to do so. Yeah, but that was also two turns ago. That was on turn two. But you have a point, Jeff, for what it's worth. I, I, maybe that, that's too conservative. I just think that's, I'm trying to think how we lose, right? And given that we're the control of the match and they're the beatdown. But Jeff had definitely has a point. That uh, they didn't daze the snuff out earlier. Uh, they did ponder. I don't know if that like changes things. Okay, they're gonna waste a cradle, that's fine. Are they trying to pay for another one? No. Delver? Sure. I probably should have attacked first, see if they bolt it, and then and then play the reclaimer. I gave them full information. Now they can bolt the reclaimer. As you can see, I play this matchup a little bit, probably more conservative than most. Uh, and there's some areas probably where it's beneficial to uh, to be a little bit more aggressive. Surgical extraction. Interesting. It's going to be embarrassing we lose to this. It's, it's one of my biggest pains to lose to somebody who boards in surgical extraction against us. It's one of the biggest tilts. They might surgical the guy's cradle. That that I feel like that's probably the line. They buy you surgical. The, that'd be awkward too. Didn't play around that. If that's if they wasteland to surgical here. Oh my god. We, we've been a turn late every time.
Well, to be fair, we did answer their their first Murktide. Kind of awkward here. Check. Well, we have full information. Um, we're dead in two turns, unfortunately. Maybe they don't even keep in days. I don't. I don't know. Well, actually, they do. We. That's a seize. Never mind. So we go to twelve here, and they're gonna hit us ten. So we really only have two turns. Really one turn because the Delver's gonna attack again. Is actually annoying. We possibly could have beat this, but Shieldritz eat it. We can't. They serve to go to our cradles. Let me think. Uh, what is the out here? I'm trying to think what the out here is. The problem is, like, we can't get through this suddenly. And that's... Oh, I, can't, I am so irritated. Like, that they get rewarded for boarding and surgical. If we get a fetch, this has to block. The Cabal Pit doesn't hit that, unfortunately. That's the awkward part. We bog here, that's not enough because we're going to one and then hope to draw removal? Is that it? So we bog here, hope to go to one. Because we have to deal with this too, is the problem. Yeah, but not by enough. It'll go to uh, one here. That gives us one additional out for what it's worth. So let's go with that. Like Cabal Pit is now a live out.
they held back. I mean, we're dead anyways, right? Like, we, we kind of have to answer the Murata right here. Oh my god, I am beyond, uh, I'm pretty tilted. Alright, let's take a look at that replay. I, it, it tilts me beyond belief when I lose to somebody who boards in uh, surgical. Alright, was there anything we could have done differently here? We kept this, I think it's like pretty reasonable. So there's an argument to take a fetch here. I think given that we're on the play. Yeah, like, I think the upside of Cradle is correct here. Like, there's an argument to take the fetch and be safe, but I, I just think the upside is just too high. Uh, we led with the hierarchy here. They bolted it, which is fine. Um, there's some merit here to go with the other hierarchy again. Like, I, I think given that... Well, they could daze us and then we just fall behind, right? Like, daze into wasteland, we probably just lose the game. <laughs> I mean, I feel it feels bad because I usually beat this player and then I lose because and they board it incorrectly in my opinion, but that's a different the entirely different topic about boarding and surgical extraction. I think it's correct there to seize, I mean, to uh, snuff out the the DRC for what it's worth. No, I, like, I, like if you watch a lot of the streams, I do pretty well. It's just for some reason right now, like, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's weird. Like, I usually do well against uh, Delver even on stream, and then... See how the... So uh, maybe maybe Jeff's line was right. Maybe I'm supposed to um, cast the snuff out there and then attack, right? Otherwise, uh, at least I get in seven damage, and then I have my opponent on a one-turn clock. Yeah. So so that is the point of contention, right? Whether to run the snuff out into days and hope they didn't top deck. Because th this would have done extra 4 damage, so maybe that's where the game was really lost. And that's what Jeff was hinting at, right? I guess I was afraid that they were going to have force. Yeah, it's it, it's just tough. They have the second one, and then no, I don't think so either, right? Like I can't get through. They can they, even if I'm at two, they can still deal with one of them, right? So I don't, I don't like we could pitch. Obviously, we could obviously pitch one of the egg nobles instead. The problem is even if we're at two, they leave two back if they're smart. I think they did that. I'm not even sure. Yeah, they leave two back, and then we can never get through. So just, I guess it's one of those times where we lose to Murktide. Um, 
what can you do, right? They seized the one stuff and they took the other. Uh, and we use we already answered one, so it is what it is. Uh, let's look at the deck. Uh, maybe we're supposed. Maybe I don't know. I, I can't tell if we were unlucky there or not. Um, I don't think we made any egregious mistake. The only one was maybe not end stepping uh, the stuff out there, playing into days. But it's not like we were f two life away from winning. Um, like the extra four life, right? The damage. Yeah, the, the second game, I think, was like... They even were down a card, right? Because they surgical our cradles, which is awkward because... Like, we couldn't get it. And maybe, I don't know, maybe, maybe that's what they're supposed to be doing in that matchup. I think it's hideous, if you ask me, but... I mean, it worked. Like, we, like the cradle could have been the difference in the game there, right? Because we would have been able to attack for five and then, and then put our opponent low. But the mode of five was pretty, pretty uh, egregious. Um, the legions end here. We didn't draw. It didn't I don't really matter. Um, like it can't hit Murktide, but again, the the Delver was also what factored in. Right? I think maybe we can raise some Murktide otherwise. The funny thing is, I think our opponent is gonna be convinced now that the surgical is correct. So I guess we'll see once we pair it again, into them again. Uh, the shepherd here. Honestly, I think if it was a Bowmasters, maybe we win that game, right? Like, we go... This is what the problem with Shepard. It forces me into some certain lines that I don't really want to take. Like, I think I was kind of priced into Shepard into... Uh, I don't like Shielder's Edict uh, at all. Because the problem is, like, a lot of these Tempo decks play Bowmasters, and Edict is hor horrendous against them. Like, we don't actually care about Bowmasters, so naming non-creature doesn't do us any good. And the token is just hideous to hit, right? Like, I if I'm not playing Legions, and I would rather play um, Anoint with Affliction because it's instant speed. If you care about that, I, I I think in our deck specifically, Edict is really bad because we don't actually care about Bowmasters. Um, the de my logic is, and granted. Maybe people don't always follow this logic. A good or experienced Merit Lage player will main phase the Merit Lage anyways because they should be playing around Opposition Agent, Wasteland, Assassin's Trophy, Baseju. There's a bunch of stuff they should be playing around in my opinion. But maybe they don't know that or they don't agree. So maybe they get me every once in a while because I'm playing Legion's End. But the idea behind it is I'm supposed to be blocking with Abtraxa anyways. So... Um, I don't like the I don't like uh, Terra uh, run afoul uh, Jeff, and the reason being is because you can't board it in against some of these DNT type decks. Um, they can. The problem is, do, do, if they want to choose to play around Legion's End, that's fine. Did they lose to other things like Wasteland or Besage or whatever, right? Also, Legion's End it hits the constructs, which is pretty relevant. Or against Delver, you can hit multiple Delvers, right? I, I do think, like I said, we got a little bit unlucky on the draws there, but it is what it is, right? We won a five game one, and I think we were close to turning the corner too in game one. But um, I think going forward, I think based on this game, like the sequencing, the shepherd there was kind of awkward. Maybe it's just a one off where we were priced into playing the shepherd. Um, I think the bowmasters. They probably take the Bowmasters, to be honest. Uh, or actually, we, yeah, I, I think what I do like is I think it's prob that kind of confirms to me I think this is probably a better configuration. It would have helped us against uh, Moonstomp, uh, not Moonstomp, Goblin Stompy too. Yeah, I, I think maybe two is correct. I think Shepard is pretty bad in this list. I only played one because... Uh, I wanted to see how it feels, and the first one, the tutor for, is pretty nice, but maybe we don't need it. Uh, I like Endurance because I thought about how the deck is being constructed, and there's really only four black cards in the deck, main, and then, so I can fest by you game one. That's one of the major uh, advantages of Endurance. Number two, I think winning game one against Reanimate or Doomsday or some of these combo decks is huge. I think... They they the game the match is probably over if you do that. 
I don't think they can win two post board games against you. Uh, so I consider this the green force of will now, right? Like I'm, and the good thing is even when it's not good, like compared to snuff out, it's good against combo because if you do have cradle, you can at least use this as lotus petal, right? You pitch a card, you get the extra mana because uh, the trigger on the stack you tap cradle uh, has enabled like turn two natural order pretty often when a snuff out is otherwise dead. Uh, it, it is nicer to pitch the Chrome Mox because it's green mana. Yeah, it's a two-card Lotus Petal, which comes up pretty often. Uh, I mentioned on the beginning of the stream, I did that against Tony Scapone uh, yesterday, where I just had turn two natural order to oof, which is a concession. Uh, so like things like that. Like Turn two natural order is probably the most common it's been maybe ever. Uh, I think... The only time where turn twos have been more common with this deck is maybe with the like the Nettle Sentinel build if you like you know if your opponent doesn't do anything. But I actually think this is more consistent like because Nettle you need Glimpse of Nature you need Heritage Druid you need a bunch of moving parts, whereas Endurance you really only need Cradle and Turn One Dork which the other build kind of needs anyways. So given that you have Cradle and the and the Turn One Dork you can natural or turn two pretty often. Damn, we have a raid here. Okay, uh, I think given that we have a raid, maybe that means um, we should play some more. Uh, what do you think? Uh, I don't, I don't want to like just up and leave, so to speak, right? Hey, decent. Thanks for the subscription. Yeah, let's let's do that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get some water real quick, and then we'll just jam another league. Same list. I'm gonna play the second bowmaster though. At least part of the league. Maybe, maybe I don't finish it, but uh, let's do that. I made one change um, in between leagues. I, I think I kind of talked myself into not playing the, the, the first Shepherd anymore uh, based on the first league. Okay, uh, somebody mentioned Massacre Worm. I, I don't even remember what it does. A 5-drop? I'm not going to play a 5-drop, Jeff. Uh, it's terrible because uh, you have a bunch of ways to turn to your opponent uh, side of Norna. Like, you have Chrome Mox, you have Gemstone Caverns, you have Endurance plus Cradle. There's just a lot of permutations to turn to natural order. No, right, we'll just start this. Oh, okay, it's starting right away. Uh, we'll keep. How about we do this? Um, we'll play at least two matches, and if we're still undefeated by that time, we'll play until we lose. I usually uh, only play one. What just happened here? What is going on? I think we just fetch basic. I, yeah, I, I don't know what is going on here. Maybe you have a combo. Maybe they're playing combo. If, if that's the case, maybe I should have led with uh, Tomo and Claimer in case they were like reanimate or something. That's got to be the only expl explanation, right? Okay, now I'm like really confused. I'm gonna kill that. No, it's not the mirror, they have prismatic vista for some reason. Uh, I think we're gonna get cradle mana. I'm, I'm like really confused. Turn one pass into turn two. Prismatic Vista into Noble Hire. I, I, don't, I don't know of a legacy deck with that sequencing. Maybe, maybe the only thing I can think of is like some kind of weird Ponza deck. It's trying to Blood Moon me. That's the only explanation I can think of for Vista, right? Like. 
Like, why would you actively want the basic force, I guess? Unless you're trying to blood moon someone. There's wasteland. That they're not activating. What a... Very interesting. Uh, we're gonna bash first and see what they do. This lair is hurting us here, and also the fact that they didn't wasteland us. Um. As weird as it sounds, I think I'm going to play the Fiend. I force them to respond. Yeah, but with Ignoble? That doesn't make any sense, right? With Wasteland? I don't know what my opponent is playing, unfortunately. And they're holding a wasteland, which is like a little awkward for us. Maybe that's a Bowmasters now? I'm like, we're genuinely confused. What is going on? Oh, it's an Endurance. That's fine. I guess. They're gonna block it. I think th that's, then we can just kill it, I guess, if they wanna block it. They're holding a wasteland, which is the awkward part. So we can't actually, until we like force this down. I think it is. I think it is. I'll just kill this endurance. So they don't have any pressure. If they want to hold a wasteland every turn, I think we're fine with that too. We're like pretty ahead on board now. Oh my god. Right, so they're going to grow our fiend, I guess. I think that's fine. Um... Maybe they're Maverick playing Prismatic Vista, which doesn't make any sense to me, but that's neither here nor there. Did they even target me with the Endurance? It didn't seem like it. The Questing Beast here, I don't think we care. Maybe it is a green sun for two? I think it is Maverick based on what I've seen, but a very odd build of it. I don't think Vista is good. But that's, you know, different. Maybe it's Depths, actually. But actually, no, they wouldn't have a Hierarch. 
Yeah, I, I don't know what's going on. Do not know what's going on. Uh, Bowmasters is probably fine, just like two mana removal. Uh, I think I keep all this other stuff. Because uh, I don't think this is a Mox matchup. I don't think this is a Collector Oof matchup either. I think the rest is probably fine. Uh, I think we want as many lands as possible because of Wasteland. I used to board a Needle in this matchup. I, I think that's a trap. I'm happy to see that, by the way, DC. If you're still watching, uh, that you won the uh, the Legacy Pit uh, last match with Cradle. I think uh, I'm really liking where the deck is at the moment. Uh, didn't show that way in the last league. Wish we could have had a better result, but um, I do think that's kind of, kind of convinced me though that uh, Shepherd can probably go right. We can just go instead of Elves. It's just Elf now. It's like the running joke, right? Uh, that's this is the other problem I, that I don't know how to fix like we keep drawing this card Okay, I guess we're gonna mull to oblivion What's going on like I didn't board out any lands did I no I boarded in lands maybe the mocks like I think we have to keep and just like. I have to look at the, the boarding strategy again. We're like less one green source, I guess, because we board out mocks. Maybe we're supposed to keep in mocks in this matchup. Although we get punished, right? They have to turn one C's here. I don't think this is typically a. Well, I could be wrong. I have to look at exactly what's coming out. A noble or ignoble? Sure. Um, I think we're gonna fetch here. Actually, the correct play would be not to fetch, and here's why. We know what's on our bottom, so I wanted the draw step first, and then um, I was thinking about like trying to thin, but we already know our bottom. I don't those kind of cards we don't want to draw. So that was a mistake on my end. See, my bowmasters are high arc here. So Maverick has a slight advantage in the sense. Sure. Maverick has a slight advantage in the sense that they have more Bowmasters to kill our dorks. Uh, but I think it generally doesn't matter too much. Um, I think we just pass. Not the best slam, but it'll have to do. Uh, if our opponent taps out here, we're, we're going to slam Natural Order. If they don't tap out, it's dangerous to go for the the fetch. We'll see. 
I mean, they know our hand, so like. So they kill it. I feel like we we do it, and then let's see, and then they hope they don't have it, and then if they do have it, we do it again. I mean, like I think we have, or like our hand dictates going for it. I think. Sure. That helps. Why is Maverick running shooters eager? I feel like that match was already good. Okay. That is a thing. So we're gonna get a track set. They're gonna balance it. That's okay. Um, and then we have like probably two turns or so after that. Okay, makes sense. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense to me otherwise. Oh, okay, sure. Land here is pretty good. Okay, we, we hit a land. They're gonna bounce our tracks. Uh, we have no choice really. We have to kind of go for it. Uh, and maybe we hit a snuff out right here too, which is huge. We did not, unfortunately. We did a land too. What is going on? Because we thinned out our deck enough. Gris, Green Sun wants. How do we answer this? Um, I guess Reclaimer? Reclaimer is big enough. Uh, it's a chump block, I guess. So is Artisan, for what it's worth. Uh, the difference, though, is Green Sun can... Uh, Can get another reclaimer. I can I can double spell next turn. I think that's probably better. And then we're gonna have to chump block pretty soon. Oh my god, that is not what I want to see at this time. A few main deck, a few what, Prismatic Vista? Yeah, I, that doesn't make any sense. Like, what? Well, well, like, how much removal do you need? Like, are you just conceding the, the combo matchup? I think we have to be mana efficient here. I mean... I guess. I... Like, two mana removal is not the most efficient for whatever that's worth. Like, it's good against Merit Lage, but I... My, my, my thinking is, you don't care about um, Orgas Bowmaster, so they, this seems kind of, in a non-blue deck, kind of bad, like, personally. Uh, 
over there. All right, uh, let's see. Do we want to change anything about how we border here? It to to me, it's like I don't know. I'm granted, I don't play a lot of Maverick, but I think there's a lot of similarities between our decks, and I don't think Maverick cares about Orcus Bowmasters. So, like Edict, not essentially being blanked by Bowmasters to me strikes as a major red flag, and I know that because I have the same problem, right? Like. When Bowmasters came out, I was still playing like Sudden Edict at the time because I think it's better than, than Shielders Edict in our deck. And I just realized, oh, if our opponent has a Bowmasters, we don't kill what we want to kill. So unless you're playing against, unless you really need to kill a Planeswalker for some reason, and you're a creature deck, that doesn't make any sense to me. Like, I, I'm not trying to be harsh. It's just like, it's because I've, tr I've actually encountered the situation myself. I mean, I think if your opponent has Bowmasters and and the Dork, yes, uh, I've had it come up for sure where like Cabal Pit takes out a chump block and Artisan's getting in for like 10 or whatever, but I just think it's like not the best use of resources. I'll, I'll put it that way. Maybe it's, I, don't, I think it can do stuff, but like, I don't think it's great. I'll put it that way. Um, Bob. Maybe we just want like a Chrome Mox. We're gonna play. I mean, if you look at my sideboard, all my remove, all my spells are free. Like that's how I feel. How fast Legacy is. Ugh, why? What is going on with these hands? Oh my god. Yeah, I, I feel you, uh, Jeff. Uh, I think given this hand now, we have to uh, be a lot more conservative. Like, we have 16 one-drops. I mean... The Cabal Pit? I mean, maybe I'm supposed to keep that hand with a the hook there. That's, that's, like, not the worst hand. Uh, what do we board out? Maybe... Uh, we're, I boarded the Cabal Pit as another removal spell in case they have, like, God Octique or something strange. Like, I don't think any of these other cards are coming in, for what it's worth. Uh, if, you ha if you have to draw one land, would you feel comfortable to play 16 land? What do you mean? Well, we're talking about, well... But what what does the door count to do with Bowmasters though? Y yes, I, I think I know what you're saying. Uh it's you're saying replace it is six technically sixteen right now because the mox is kind of a land. Um they took the reclaimer, that's kinda of strange. I don't think I'm supposed to. I don't think I'm supposed to um, green sun here. I think I'm supposed to just get Gris and like tick up, and just play the grind game. They're probably gonna bow masters on two.
I mean, they have four formations, so like. Maybe they priest here? That's the only thing I can think of. Right, it doesn't make any sense. It's gotta be priest, right? No? I'm now I'm kind of confused with what's going on. If it's not priest. It's, it's got to be bowmasters, right? But then I don't know why delay it. Like they knew our hand. It's not that either. Uh, okay, I'm like kind of confused to be honest. Engineer, no Gris. All right. So I actually think I'm okay with this trade, right? Like, they kill a Gris, but then they lost a creature. So there's a, and we're up a creature. Like, I'm really confused. Like, why not, why not take the Green Sun is, is the only thing. I don't, okay, there is a, I'm gonna attack the Gris here. I get punished if they have something weird like Solitude, but I'm, am I supposed to be playing around that now? Like, I don't think so. I mean like, to be fair, they, they've had some very unorthodox choices already. Uh, it does play around snuff out, uh, Jeff. Th this is black. I thought about that actually. So, I, so it, it, it did play around snuff out. That is uh, quite the top deck. Let's see, how much mana do we have? That is going to be a lot of damage. It's actually lethal. This is a, this is kind of funny. This is a force block. That is uh, quite a top deck. I actually, if yesterday, just yesterday, I was playing against Blue Red Delver, I won and Lair of the Hydra uh, outraced the Murtai region. It was kind of crazy. So I, I, I think, I think the logic for the concession here is. A chump block means they're never going to get ahead. If they have to waste the lair, um, they're only stuck on two mana, and I can just keep bashing in. Maybe that's why they, they concede. Their hand must be pretty bad. I, I don't know. But I thought we were in trouble with mode of five, essentially, right? All right, uh, I'm going to use the restroom. I'll be right back.
Oh, smog combo. Interesting. Okay, I, that was not even on my radar, to be honest. Like, they would have got me. Uh, this person, I don't know. They feel like they're a reanimator, but I could be wrong. Yeah, I feel like, uh, Jeff, Legacy is kind of like vintage before, where like everybody kind of has a combo deck now. A mulligan. Well, so Bookish Matt, uh, I think it depends if you uh, consider our deck Maverick, right? Like, some people joke this is like, a, a, I don't know, an offshoot or cousin of Maverick. Instead of cheating, uh, instead of playing Wastelands or Broken Land, Cradle the Broken Land. I think one with a four, uh, it definitely reeks of combo. <laughs> I think Maverick people will be uh, what's the word I'm looking for happy to hear Ooh, that's a pretty good card I think we lead with this um And pass. Yeah, and, and endurance. This is what I mean. Like the green force of will. I mean, it's got to be reanimate, right? Mortal four. Uh, I think I. Okay, so do we want Bowmaster or not, I guess? I'm trying to think, like... I feel like the line here is like, I don't, I don't actually think we want Bowmaster. I think it's pitch Bowmaster's ramp with Noble, and then get Artisan online next turn. Um, the problem with that is then we don't have a pitch for the Endurance. So... Unless we're pitching the Artisan. Uh, that's actually fine, I think. I think in emergency, we'll pitch the Artisan. That's not a deal breaker. I think we need a ramp though. Like, I'm not tapping out. Like, basic swamp. Some people... I've been got before. When I didn't know my opponent was on reanimator, I just, like, tapped out for some reason. When I didn't need to. But, like, not when you're molding a four and leading with basic swamp. Like, there are scenarios where, like, I go turn one, reclaimer, turn two, artisan, because the hand dictates it, and I lose because they, like, suddenly are breakfast, and I didn't have that on my radar. Um, but in general, though, like, that's why Reclaimer is so good in this deck, right? Like, you just play with mana up, and there's a one-card win against Reanimator. I think they thought about Entombing there. Uh, we definitely do that. I guess we could have attacked. Um, I don't think that's worth it. We'll just pass. What, we, what this line does is we can once into um, Arbor on the same turn to set up uh, Artisan. Kill.
the one point or the other is not going to matter, typically speaking. This is what flavor of reanimator are they on? Uh oh. Are they on show and tell? Like. Sure. So here we get a free endurance, right? Like Yeah, it's unfortunate for our opponent there. That game was never really in doubt. Maybe on turn one they got us they got us like but we drew into the endurance, right? Um, all right, what do we want here? I think we actually want the Force of Vigors just to hit like Anime Dead. I think the problem with Needle is um, if we Needle Gristle Brand, they just get a Traxa and we're probably in trouble anyways. Uh, so I think I like. Uh, Force in case it just like randomly hits their uh, random deads. That could be wrong, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. And we already have bow masters for whatever it's worth that hits Crystal Brand anyways. Also, being a green pitch instead of needle is relevant too. Today, I don't know why I'm like. We're getting a lot. And the mana base is like pretty stable. Yeah, the problem is like nothing else is better, right, Jeff? Like, like what do you think is better here? I don't, I don't think anything else is. It's all pretty bad, right? I don't think no is better, for what it's worth. Like, what are you going to know into? Uh, I think we got to mold this too. On the draw, it's probably not enough. Keep this. Maybe we you can know into uh, Gris. I think I, maybe that's okay. Maybe that's what you're suggesting, Jeff. Like not, it's pretty reasonable, I guess. Like, you're treating no as, you know, extra copies of Green Sun, that's like, uh, maybe that's okay. Uh, we got, oh, alright, we gotta take the, uh, we gotta take the, the show and tell, right? Like, They could have. I don't know. I guess they wanted to play a save with show and tell. We kept the Arbor. Obviously, we need a pitch, and it's probably going to happen right now. It's going to be reanimate. The scary part here is like I don't want to like put one of these other ones into the yard. I feel like it's kind of dangerous uh, here to, to thought seize. Four cards is now, I wonder if uh, we're supposed to do it or not. Probably not still. Like if it's Dark Ritual Hand, then it's not great, right? 
One more I might fire it off. That is, uh, yeah, that, that's pretty good. They got me there. Um, I think I take the Archon. Well, okay, can we answer an Archon is a question. In case they, like, hard cast it or something later on. It, it's hard. I think with five, I go for it. I didn't go for it early because I just figured that um, it was too dangerous. I felt like five was a little bit safer, but you know, I I, I realized there's a, some risk with that, right? <sighs> oh my god, that's just unlucky, I think. Uh, for what it's worth, I think I played it correctly. I think with five, it, you can do it. But now we're just dead here. Um, is there an out? I don't think so. Ugh, just unfortunate. Actually, there was one other out. Uh, I guess Force of Vigor was an out there. Yeah, I guess Force was an out, but that, that was about it. I didn't, I didn't check, but yeah. We'd have to discard it anyways, and we're probably, to be honest, in a lot of trouble still. Uh, I don't think we can keep this. Tomb, Collective Brutality, and Thought Seize. I think we take the Seize, and if they want to burn a pedal to Brutality us, that's probably fine. Like, we can't stop them from putting something in the yard. Yeah, 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 for sure. I, I, I don't know. The pain I feel when some, I lose somebody who boards in surgical against me. So here, it's like I want them to burn multiple resources, right? If they want to pedal into uh, brutality me here, then fine. Actually, it doesn't even hit it, I just realized. And then we just have to pray we get a second turn, right? Tell me they hit the show and tell. So they can't brutality one of them. Sure. If we reanimate, we're dead, but what can we do, right? Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Like, Jesus. <sighs> I 
Maybe we need more graveyard hate, like... Yeah, oh my god. <sighs> Unfortunately, we lost both post-board games uh, to the player. Um, there's some... There's some merit here to like not fire off the Thoughtseize. <sighs> My god, and we got extremely punished too. It had to be, I figured three chances. One of them is probably a land. If we hit a looting, that's like pretty good there. I, I think that was the correct play. And we just immediately got punished, unfortunately. Maybe the line is, I don't do it. And I wait until I have the endurance to, to back up. So that maybe that's the misplay. Maybe I'm supposed to wait another turn because I drew the Endurance, because that's protection. Uh, here... Yeah, I feel like I take the C's. Other well, the brutality can answer the the reclaimer. That's a problem. They have like two outs of that. I feel like it's probably the C's still. It's kind of unlucky, I think. Oh, man. I think game two, like maybe we should have won. Um, maybe I was supposed to hold another turn. Like, I just figured with five cards, it's probably safe. But I think maybe the calculus changes when. Um, you know, we have an endurance in it. Maybe we're supposed to just wait. Yeesh. I don't want to see that. Radio, I guess. Actually, I'm. Oh, that was a mistake. I'm supposed to play. Oh, my God, I'm supposed to play the cradle in case I need to play around days there. And that's exactly what happened. Oh my god, I am just punting left and right. I'm lucky that didn't punish I didn't get punished. Because that I'm usually good about 
playing the cradle out to bait days. And I just like got a little sloppy there with the, the Chrome Ox. Because usually I don't play a land drop beat until the Chrome Ox to bait out. And in this case, it's the, kind of the opposite. I, I need this to stick. What is going on though? Why are they, why is it a Tundra deck? Uh, could be, yeah. The question here is like, do I main phase the Bowmasters? Um, and then I get extra mana with the Collector Oof? Because that's going to put me at 4 mana. And then I can just do uh, both Endurance plus the Collector Oof on the same turn. I think I just passed. I think breakfast is like reasonable here. If they're on breakfast, though, uh, might have been better to save the Bowmasters, <coughs> but hard to say. Oh, that was a mistake. I think I needed to take uh, I think I needed to take a uh, cradle there to force the block. Hard to say though. Let's Well, they have to block. But if they have to win through that, then it is what it is. Then it doesn't matter. Okay, we got lucky. Uh, whatever bailed us out there. The, I actually screwed that up because I'm supposed to force the block by getting the uh, the cradle, right? Like, it, it, it's a force block. And then, in case, I drew a land anyways, so it's exact seeds, but that, that was very sloppy on my, on my behalf. All right, we can get board all of this nonsense out. Uh, the good thing about this matchup is like we have a, a million cards. Basically, our entire sideboard. Minus T, right? Mm. What don't we want? 
on here. To look at it, my sidebar map again. It's been a while. Don't even want grist, I guess. I guess we're bored. Do we want gemstone characters in this matchup? Lair is pretty good for what it's worth to close out the game. Um, I feel like it's kind of attrition based, so maybe we don't want the gemstone. Although we're down two sources otherwise, right? So maybe we keep this and then board something else out. Artist is not particularly great in this matchup. It's a little bit slow. Uh, the argument, other argument is like, maybe we don't keep in force. It's just too much card advantage. But yeah, let's go with this. I think I'll own with the land. This is like pretty reasonable. Essentially, against these graveyard decks, we turn into a hard control deck. I'm still kind of irritated that we lost to Reanimate after winning game one. But I think we might have just misplayed uh, game two. Game three, what happened? Oh, they just drew into exactly what they needed, I guess. Um, hmm. They shuffle. Yes, they did. I think there's a good chance we just try to screw them here, right? Like, we take the ponder, and then they just don't have lands. They want to. Yeah, I think I think we're just gonna mess with them. They shuffle too, so that's a good indicator. Yeah, I played around days there. I don't. I don't want to like give them value off the days when they're like stuck on lands. Probably swords the reclaimer. Um, here I think I lead with the artisan and force them to res to force that, and then I want the oof to stick is why. They're probably gonna force this. Okay, never mind. I'm surprised they let the artisan through, to be honest. And then, uh, I guess they're hoping for a top deck, right? Alright, 
I guess they had the kill, that's why they're... I have to look back, maybe I was too uh, tunnel vision into like mana screwing them, taking their ponder. To me that felt like the, the play because they're hitting, missing land draw. I don't think we take force for what it's worth. There's some merit to taking the Shuko because then they're two cards away. But then they have Stoneforge Mystic too for whatever that's worth. And they often have a second one, which they did here. So I don't think Shuko is correct either. Maybe you take the Plow, but that's about it, right? So that the, uh, the Reclaimer can stick. Alright, we, I think we've seen enough. Uh, let me see if I boarded Legion's end in this matchup. Probably not, it's actually sorcery speed, so I think we can get, probably get rid of that. It, it deals with, um, Whatever though, Cauldra complete, that, that could be a problem. I think this is fine. We could board this out for another artisan, but that's about it. That's pretty good. I don't think it gets much better than this. Yeah, we took the cheese line, and maybe that's not correct there. Uh, I think it was reasonable, though, in that moment, at least. I think we take the stone forge here. They can keep the plows. We, we can actually play around plow. Flood here. The good thing is, I think this is going to be online this game.
Oh my god. What is this? Oh my god. Just, it's not my night. Jesus Christ. Like they drew into all three comp pieces. Like I, I, I this is kind of unreal. And we like drew blanks, so it's it's more than runner runner. Like our opening hand took the one combo piece, and they just had. STP, STP, ponder, like z literally zero combo pieces, and they drew three. Stoss is Oracle. So let's see, how many do they have left? Maybe they named Fair Macaw here. That's the correct name, I think. Sort of go extraction. Close enough. What's a dread return? I haven't seen it yet. Oh, it was towards the end, okay. Well, that's pretty unfortunate. I think I have to think about... Oh, man, that feels kind of bad. I think here, they shuffle, miss, we seize. To me, it's not the Shuko because Stoneforge is redundant. I don't, th there's some argument for the f swords, I guess. Because then that means that they have to, um, that means that they have to waste the force on the, the, the reclaimer, right? We took the ponder. The ponder means that they can't force it to, uh, for what it's worth. Right? Like, if we take the swords, they're forced to hit... Uh, to... Yeah, Cauldra is hard to deal with. If they go for... If they know how we boarded. It, that's a big if, though. If they know how we boarded, then the Cauldra is hard to deal with. Uh, to me, it's like either ponder or STP, but given that they whiffed, I think it's like reason will take the ponder so that they can't hit their white source, right?
So the difference there is like if we take the swords, then they can't swords. They had to force probably the um, the thing, and then they can't sword, force the the collector. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, plow could just be the safest. I, like if they wanted to go down a card, I took the greedy line, and maybe that's. That, that's getting punished there for that. And then game three. What happened game three? Yeah, this is like pretty reasonable. And then just... Here, we took the Stoneforge. I think that's correct. So the, 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 at this point, they just have a ponder and no combo cards in hand. And we have two pieces of this, well, one more piece of disruption, right? All right, we're playing against likely Doomsday, but we'll see. We'll know within turn one. If it's Doomsday or not. I think it is. Uh, presumably it takes the Endurance here. It takes the Fiend, interesting. Uh, I don't think it matters uh, whether we mox here or not. I think we just keep everything in case uh, we need to... Smells like Doomsday. That's pretty good. I think we'll pass. If they want to daze it, I think we're okay with that. Um, There's some argument to be made to ramp here. So I have more of a clock. And then we'll just hold up triple to uh, endurance. Green. Okay. Wasn't expecting that. Sure. We gotta establish a clock though, so I'm gonna do this. They wanna daze it they can. Oh, ugh, I'm a, an idiot. I needed to do that earlier, but I, I don't think it changes anything really. That might have been a mistake actually though. Like, 
I think I might have needed to hold the reclaimer because I need to do it both in the same turn. Might have just gone too fast there. Ring into ring, okay. I think we we can cast everything, so I'm gonna just play this. They know our hand, but I don't think they're playing around anything, anyways. Uh, does that matter? Probably not. I don't think the extra two black is going to matter, but I could be wrong. They have three cards in hand. Which is uh, the problem. But they can draw into two of it. Sure. Okay. They forget. I think they might have forgot, because they knew our hand that we had triple endurance. That that would be my guess that they just forgot. Uh, here, uh, every Doomsday player I know mulligans aggressively to Dark Ritual Doomsday, so I don't even bother with Fiendars. I just board it out. Sometimes they name it. Or they, they think about it, but I, but that's fine. So not that ironically enough, is actually really good in this matchup because of endurance. Like it's hard to be both at the same time. Uh, I only have Atraxa, and the logic is, if you have natural ordering on lower resources, Atraxa is better. Um, and if they pass the turn, Atraxa is going to draw into hate anyways. There is a non-zero chance you'll whiff, but it's pretty low given for snuff out, for endurance, for C's, right? Like it's. It's a lot of hate. Um, and then Gemstone Caverns can come out for the Cabal Pit for extra black source. Uh, everything else I think is like reasonable. Oh, needles are good. I forgot about that. Needles are good. Uh, Lair I think can come out. Let me see how I boarded. Okay, Lair normally... I'm on the draw here. So actually, I'm on the draw, so I want the um, the gemstone, and then the lair can come out. And then I think one reclaimer can come out as well. That's pretty good. They should be mulliganing aggressively for me. Like every Doomsday player I know does it. Uh, I think I want to like deck thin or grow Reclaimer if need be. 
Well, we're gonna leave with High Arc. Days, maybe? Sure. I don't think that matters too much. It might actually help us. Like, they're just trying to one-shot us here. That's why I don't even bother with artists. It's way too slow. Uh, here, I think we just stick the collective. Oof. Reclaimer's pretty bad in this matchup. They want a daze again, that's okay, right? Like, they go zero. If they draw a force, that's fine. They exile Thassa's Aura, which means that they have the second one. I didn't look carefully at their pile. Sure. They took that, that's okay, I think. Um, I think we want the clock, honestly. Like, I think I want to stick an endurance here just for the clock. While holding a protect protection, obviously. Oh, they couldn't see it. They got brainstorm locked. Uh, we were holding. Our hand is stacked for what it's worth. Um, I mean, we might as well finish, right? We only have one more left. Maybe we can finish strong. I think the big takeaway is like maybe I gave my 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 graveyard opponents um, too much. Like I gave them an opening because of the way I played, and maybe I'm just supposed to take take the swords there. It, like I I, I get like my light my eyes light up when I see my opponent like miss land drops. Oh, but maybe that's not the right play. Uh, against the reanimator opponent, I think I stand by my lines. I, I don't think I messed up there. It just didn't work out, right? Sometimes that happens. Uh, here, we're priced into fetching um, Bayou because of the Bowmasters. Alright, once upon a time, that's probably our deck or Klaupos. I'm trying to think what else it could be. There's a chance it's Maverick. But VCF, I don't, doesn't strike me as a Maverick player, so... I would guess either our deck, probably not, to be honest. I, I don't recognize them in our Discord. Uh, more likely, I think, uh, maybe Klaupos. I think they're on our deck. Guide? Oh, yeah, I think they're playing uh, Yuri's version. I don't think we care about these, to be honest. I think we just want to hit the ramp. I don't actually think we care about Bowmasters. Actually, let's do it this way. I'm going to put a Reclaimer in, in, in play. ESG, yeah, I think they are on uh, Jurgen and Ego's list.
Oh, I'm gonna get a snipe and artisan here. That's pretty neat. Reward for the patience. If they have natural order here, like, there's nothing we can do, right? Yeah. Exactly. I think they have it. Well, if they have it, they should fetch and pitch the arbor. Maybe that's a green sun? they have it. They would have slammed it already. We're short one. The problem here is like there's nothing like there's no opposition agent we can tutor for to lock out the mirror. Um, I think the best we can do here is probably like plus. And then like maybe take out uh, one another one of the creatures. It doesn't really matter, really. I guess if in well, if they draw a gris, that would I, I think a second artisan might be okay. Just so we have redundancy, right? We have lethal next turn. Yeah, I think that's reasonable. And then pass. So we got to fade one turn here. They can deck in a little bit, but... It's kind of frustrating, actually. Oh, right, they can do that if they want. It's a little bit frustrating because um, I've always pre preached like not to build for the mirror, and I know the other artisan list is running agent. So you, we kind of put ourselves at a disadvantage if we don't. We just have to pay one draw here. And it's, it's, let's see, one, six, seven, eight. Probably Green Sun and Natural Order, the two draws, we have to pay, uh, they actually messed up, I think. I think they needed to get Arbor. At least they know. Uh, this matchup is... I haven't played it really s since the, uh, ESG became kind of the other... Uh, since kind of the, the list has div diverged into like what you use for fast mana. So we'll see how it plays out. We do have a lot of hate. Uh, we gotta board up 
fog. We got a board out layer. Uh, Gris. Let me see how I board. I don't even remember. I, I, I board out the Gris. I guess I'm just, I'm not playing towards that. Like, I'm, I'm just playing towards constraining their mana with uh, Bowmasters and then hoping that will ride to victory, right? So a lot of a lot of hate on our side. I don't like needle personally. I, I it doesn't affect the board is what I don't like it. And then we keep the fast mana. Uh, we are probably slightly disadvantaged in this matchup, uh, just because we don't have agent. Um, my stance has always been like I'm willing to lose the mirror if people want to play this deck, right? Like, I, I will get one benefit of playing our deck is uh, the configuration is such that it's not geared towards the mirror. So if you want to win the mirror, I guess uh, opposition agent would be the way to do it. Although I think in most cases, bowmaster getting bowmaster is probably fine. We even got game one there. Um, I was just trying to see how we lost. Natural Order obviously killed us. Uh, I think Green Sun probably killed us. I don't know their hand, but like getting seven, there's a decent chance they hit Cradle plus another Natural Order. Um, or or an, another uh, Green Sun. So I think that probably kills us. Okay, this is pretty good. I'm gonna go turn one C's in uh, into ramp. Why do they do it on their upkeep? I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, only certain cards matter in this matchup. <sighs> Ooh, I just drew the second one. Trying to hit a land here. That's not bad, I guess. Oops, my mistake. We'll see what's up first. Probably an artisan. The blow, well, not even blow, like semi counter here is like dismember and bowmasters. I don't think we care. Take the green sun. Uh, no, I don't, I don't think so. I, we lose if they untap with uh, Fiend Artisan. So I don't, I think we try to waste. Yeah, let's do this. I'm gonna pitch the the high arc because they have a bow message I'm a, and just like completely play around it. Turn on our snuff out and get a reclaimer here. Uh, that's gonna draw out the dismember. And they don't have a clock now, right? Maybe they dismember it, maybe they don't. We'll see. Uh, looks like it's a dismember.
I think we get an artisan. Um, and then may, probably hit their dork. So we know one card in hand is the Bowmasters. I X'd it by accident, but they'll probably attack and then try to get us. I don't think we're gonna block. Any fetch line here is like pretty good because it's gonna kill, I'm gonna cut the, give them off their mana. Ooh, that is a problem. Okay, uh, we can live with that. So the way you win without opposition agent in this matchup, if you're playing the mirror, is you just choke their mana. They're gonna hit our arbor, or our bowmasters, either one. They probably get another get another artisan, or they get another bowmasters and hit our bowmasters. The cradle top deck was kind of insane. Actually, I take that back. They already had it. Probably get agent here. I, I gotta imagine. I think we probably lost the race. The mirror is kind of dumb. We were very, yeah, it's, it's, I don't know. It's, yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of weird. We were very close to breaking this game open, but, um, the Bowmasters into double Bowmasters are both our dorks meant that we couldn't untap with, uh, our Fiend Artisan and, and, and lock out theirs with, uh, Gris was the problem. They're probably going to agent us now, and we're probably in trouble. So, again, I, I think it depends, right? Do you want to play for the mirror or not? I think it's, like, outside the mirror, like, I don't think agent really does anything. Like, it's good against cloud post, and that's about it, right? Yeah, so there, there's the agent. Uh, 
uh, yeah, it's probably GG here. What did they pitch? Green activate for two? What is two? What is two? What is going on here? Okay. Yeah, I, I feel like th that took way too long, though. Like, what is going on here? Um, I don't. I think we're beating this. Let's see if they block. Actually, this is kind of good because we're going to pretend like we have endurance for game three in case they, they think about it. All right, we'll concede. All right, um, we did board out the Gris. I feel like that's not really what the game came down to. I think we're okay. Well, let's try it how it is. This is the first time I'm playing, like I said, the pseudo mirror. Okay, that I, I regret. We have a turn two Nash order. I think we go for it. It's like really awkward that we have this land here. We're in the top deck mode, which is okay, I think. That's pretty good.
Do they have natural order here? We're dead. Um... Like, if they have it all, they have it all. I think we don't play around that. Like, that snuff out into... To, thought season the snuff out into natural order would be kind of nuts. Uh, I think this might have been the second. I could be wrong. I needed to maybe board that out. We're going to linger. Interesting. Oh, they have natural agent. <sighs> no, that's annoying. Yeah, it's, I don't know. It, it's a little bit sad for me. Uh, to have to play against the mirror and then um, we're, where we have, I have to play against the mirror breaker, so to speak, right? I guess that's a good sign too. Maybe that means the, the deck's popular enough. Yeah, uh, thank you. Appreciate that. I shouldn't have played out the uh, the fetch and given information. That was a mistake. trying to kill here.
There is a chance. I'm supposed to board in endurance uh, for this matchup, but I'm not 100% sure. Also, there is a chance maybe I'm not supposed to uh, keep in the Chromox because uh, of how much disruption is on both sides. I have to think about it. Like I said, this is the first time I've played against the, the pseudo mirror. Yeah, maybe Gris for sure as an out. That it's also that scales well too. It it really depends too, right? Like it depends if I'm dedicating cards actually for the mirror. Um So I think if we are I think if we are assuming that we're the so the difference in the Delta is we have more dorks, so we can actually get Gris out, and if we're assuming the game goes long, maybe we don't want the Chrome Moxes and we board them out and then bring in the Gris uh, for inevitability. I think that's like reasonable. Or we can just play our own agents, right? Like if we really want to win the mirror. I don't believe in uh, trying to win the mirror though for this, like, that's me. Ooh, this is awkward. I can't hit agent here, which is where annoy oh, with uh, affliction would be better, but we're already pretty behind for what it's worth. Like, we, we would have to have it earlier. This is mainly to hit artisans and then uh, hit their hand too, right? I do think we're probably drawing dead and I don't think our opponent's gonna screw up. So let's just concede. All right, let's take a look at that uh, that match. I think we learned a lot there. All right, let's see if the fast mana actually matters or should we just go down uh, lands in this matchup? So here, the snuff out being awkward with the mocks, right? Like. It, it, this is the scenario where, with the one scenario where there's a fail case, if we draw both, we can't pitch the mocks to the gemstone, which is awkward. Um, we have a turn two line. There's a possibility we're supposed to just pitch the natural order to the crow mocks. And then green sun, right? Then, then we have turn two uh, artisan. I think that's kind of weak, to be honest. Like, if you're going to do that, You might as well go all in and, and, uh, and go for the natural. I think that's okay what we kept. It just didn't work out. Chrome Moss, for whatever it's worth, was awkward there because we had to pitch a card and we're down one. And they took our, uh, they snuffed out and seized on turn one, which is kind of nuts. I think if that was a land, we fetched there instead. And then we can just get the Arbor instead and then we can play for a longer game. So what do we do here? We play, okay, we once upon a time into the ignoble. 
I don't remember what we saw. Didn't matter though, because he had natural agent, which is awkward. Yeah, see, if they don't have agent here, I think we actually win this game, right? We take whatever the relevant card is, um, kill the ignoble, and they're suddenly down to two creatures. This was awkward here, for sure. We couldn't snuff out their land or their creature. Possible this is a mole, and we just kept it. We kept it because we we could turn to a natural order. And then game two, I think we were just like on the verge of stabilizing, and then the bowmaster did this did us in. Yeah, I think this is really good, right? Like Gemstone Caverns was really good here. We go turn one sees. Is okay again awkward to draw the mocks here. We take the green sun, I think that's correct. And then we ramp. Yeah, okay, we ramp, we're pitching the ignoble, that's fine, because they're gonna bowmaster our thing anyways. And then we get a green, uh, artisan here, and we're like on the verge of stabilizing, right? Yeah, see that was really good, and then we ramped. So at this point, their their hand is bowmasters. So we're thinking, okay, they need to bowmaster to kill our thing, and then we can hopefully untap next turn and kill their thing. But unfortunately, they hit a land drop, and then they can go double bowmaster, which is pretty brutal. And then I think this, at this point, we're just locked out, right? They, they just get opposition agent. All right. Um, I think very close games, two and three. And I think I have to think about whether I want to schedule for the mirror or not. Like, it is a little bit, um, like I said, frustrating that, because usually I, there's like, uh, I joke there's like an honor code, right? Like, uh, if you're playing this deck, don't build for the mirror because we're trying to, you know, use the best sideboard slots um, elsewhere. But uh, if it comes to it, I think I may have to play my own agent. Uh, if this is a, if this deck becomes more popular, right? Obviously, somebody will eventually break the uh, the unwritten uh, agreement, so to speak, right? All right, let's go ahead and see if we can raid. Uh, here are my socials, by the way. I was going to mention them earlier. And then we'll raid, um, Modern Waste Nut. I'll raid, uh, Zeriok 2, I guess. Thank you, uh. My socials aren't working. I don't know what's going on. Like, I guess, I don't know. Maybe it's like something's wrong with my um, commands. Weird. All right. Uh, enjoy. Thanks for hanging out.